Uh, keep this, I think, upkeep bolt. Mm -mm. Surprise, Love It Air just not been reprinted. Are you? I mean, I guess, like, maybe 7th edition or, like, one of the core sets, maybe. That's when it could have been in there. But then you'd have to have... No, because you don't, they don't usually do mechanics like that in a core set. Like, flashback. I asked if there was beef since he wasn't playing the first one and took a, took a life of its own. Now there's just more beef. Burn, huh? The classic Burn v. Prowess. I really need to find a land here. I think I'm gonna lava dart. Okay, Pog. I can get a mountain too, I think. I think getting a mountain's good. Because I have the Metamorphose to make blue anyways. I think burn matchup is awful. It's always a fun matchup. I agree, it might be bad. It's always a fun matchup, though. They don't have Searing Blaze. Yeah, that's fine. Innistrad could have had it. Wow, burn with Ragavan. I don't want to Lava Dirt this. I think I'm going to. Top bats like in Metamorphose. Make blue red. Could keep that. I could keep that, make red red. Go Soul Scar Bolt. Doesn't sound bad. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go keep that, make red red. Soul Scar Bolt you. Graveyard that. Not gonna cast the Lava Dart now. This is maybe a bit of a spew, but putting a bunch of stuff in the graveyard for Breach if I draw like. I guess I have to draw like a Bobble or a Mutagenic Growth. Okay. We have Ennings for Pur Red Dudes at least. Yeah, yeah. We can kill like the Sanctifiers and that kind of stuff. Sanctifier turning off uh, Delirium is kind of a beat though. Also, like, exiles a bunch of stuff for Breach. So even if we're able to kill the Sanctifier after the fact, it's still, you know, pretty massive. Bolting Soul Scar. Yeah, you got it. Suspend Rift Bolt. Okay, so I'm at 15. Need like a bobble there. I can go breach lava dart and try to find bobble. It's probably not worth it though. I think I'm just gonna play Soul Scar Mage. Attack for one. Let them kill something with the Rift Bolt. Not gonna cast the Lava Dart now. Oh yeah, Modern starts at 8th edition, not 7th edition, yeah. Was Wild Growth in 7th edition? It was, wasn't it? I think it was. Yeah, it was. That'd be a sweet card to put into Modern, I think. I'd like to see that in uh, in the new, whatever, Lord of the Rings set MH17 is. I mean, that's usually what you do in this matchup, right? <sighs> do I kill the Ragavan? They have two cards in hand. <sighs> it sucks to kill the Ragavan with Breach. I think I'm not going to. God, I want to. I want to so badly. If I kill the Ragavan and spike Delirium, it's so good for me. I'd have to hit an Artifact or an Sorcery. Like, the issue with not killing it is they just get a treasure if they have another one mana spell. Like, I'm I, I'm kind of fucked if I don't kill it if they have, if they have another one mana spell. I think I'm just going to do it. Uh, I think I bin that. <sighs> Man, this is such a weird spot. I could top it. Wait, what if I just topped it? And then hope that I hit Delirium off of this, put them to three. Interesting. That's certainly the high roll line. I could also maybe kill Swift Spear. I think I'm gonna top it. I think I might top it and just kill Swift Spear. That's certainly safer, you know. Like I can play the long game with this breach. I think. Ugh. My brother in Christ. Yeah, we needed to find like a we need to find like an artifact or an enchantment to bin or a sorcery. Artifact and champion sorcery were missing. Such a weird game. Okay. Hmm. You have one card left. So there's no reason to cast this now, because I don't have anything I can hit. Like, even if I hit Bobble, it's not lethal. I mean, I can draw a bunch of cards, but... I guess... Hmm. The upside of casting the Breach there was that if I hit Delirium... But now I can probably just kill them if I draw a land, right? 
go like breach flashback bolt try to find delirium that's six i do have to fetch the six but there's i can't avoid that i have to do that you know like, i can't play around double bolt here turns it into a two turn clock well if i play the breach it's not necessarily right because even if i get delirium they go to four you know what i mean so it's like it's not even 100 percent lethal that's like worst case scenario it's only for one, I guess, but... Okay. That's not bad. Breach gives delirium. No, I know that. I know that. But what I'm saying is like... Oh, sure. So, breach, brick, attack for one, and then... Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, so we're dead. Damn it. Alright, game two. Mm, where tier kills Eidolon, but nothing else... It's kind of mid. Prismatic ending good against the pro white cre or pro red creatures, which we probably have to have. Ulster Storm's not bad either. What's bad in this matchup? There's not really that many cards that are bad, right? Because like Lava Dart is a card that I generally tend to cut in matchups like this, but they have Ragaband, so I don't want to cut Lava Dart. I was boarding out Icon to class and Mutagenic over the weekends. Boarding in Fluster ending. What I in this matchup specifically? I guess Iconoclast is just too slow. Is that the idea? I don't know, man. Like, Iconoclast in those games where you're just playing a longer game and they're interacting with your creatures, just getting, like, one to two one ones off it seems... few iterations. What do you think about Ragavan this deck? Ah, uh, I don't know. I like Iconoclast, but... If you want to play Ragavan, it's fine. I'm not saying that Ragavan's a bad card. Yeah, we could, we could try this. We could try this. Cutting Metagen to growth is kind of weird, though. I guess Metagenic Growth DRC doesn't really protect your creatures that well. So I guess that's fine. Alright, let's play first. Feel. Uh, this hand's based. I'll keep. Rather have Iconoclast over EI to be more proactive. Just like, I feel like they're, they're just going to be killing all of my creatures. Like, I feel like I need EI to just be up cards. Like, I think they have the resources. Like, they have more removal spells in their deck than I do. Maybe that's just, like... Maybe that just makes the matchup, you know, fundamentally flawed. Leading Swiss Spear here, because I'd rather have the DRC trigger. I might, I might not even play DRC on turn two. Depending on what they do. Might hold it till turn three. Although I can at least go DRC bolt, so maybe I'll play it anyways. Suspend Rift Bolt. You got it. Uh, I like that. Kind of making it obvious what I have, but I will happily make this exchange. I guess mm, this is worse against Searing Blaze. Maybe I let this go, but it, letting this go is so bad if they play Eidolon. Uh, graveyard that. Shouldn't have six. So now at least they have to think about. Well, no, if they have certain blaze, they'll just blaze this. Uh, dilt. Okay, mm let's guess this. Make blue red, I think. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I meant to attack with both. Misclick. Misclick! Maybe they think I'll double block. Oh no, prismatic ending. I guess I was maybe supposed to fetch a sacred foundry. I mean, I didn't want to shock again, though. up Fall on a sleep chat own it what are you doing so we can have a big modern tournament on paper lms in spain which deck do you recommend to go red black scam just guy or blue red prowess um i mean 
tough. Like, I think I feel I feel like it maybe depends on what you have the most reps with, but uh, kill this. F6. I mean, as far as like what's the most powerful deck, honestly, maybe Racto Scam. But I, I think it's it really all just comes down to like what you have reps with and what you're more comfortable with because all those decks are pretty good. Like if you have the reps with Breach, that that honestly might just be the most powerful deck. But it's also very very difficult to pilot correctly. I think maybe like something like Prowess or Scam is a little bit easier. But well, if I draw a okay, all right, well. Still not quite lethal, because I'm one spell short. Remember that one damage that I missed and I didn't attack with Swiss Spear? Uh, remember when I didn't attack with Swiss Spear? Never punished, though, by the way. Never punished. Never punished. Do you think they drew the burn spell and scoop because they felt bad that I misclicked? You know, I'd like to believe that that was the case, but... If you have no reps, play Scam. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, too. That's kind of where I'm at, too. This hand has no blue mana, but it has two creatures and a Fluster Storm and an EI. I think I keep? It's pretty close, though. Yeah, shout out to the... Shout out to Moto Premium for making me not lose that game when I horribly misclicked. Underworld Breach on top, huh? Alright, please don't play Adelon. 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 <laughs> that's true, they were very disappointed that I did not max attack. Just play anything but Eidolon, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, blue source. Do I double one drop or do I hold up the fluster? I think I'm just gonna double one drop. I'm not sure if this is better, but... Like, with me at 16, if they want to start firing off my creatures instead of me, I think that's okay. Shout out to yeah, shout out to Beta Traders for <laughs> for not having white plume adventurers and forcing us to play modern. That's when you're that's when you know you're down bad. Ah, uh, upstairs. Upstairs. They have one card in hand. So now we can just pass. This feels like a decent spot, right? I think. <laughs> Get a tap steam vent. I think I go Swift Spear EI. I guess if I Swift Spear EI, I won't be able to Fluster Storm. Because I'm going to EI before playing my land. But I think it's fine. But again, with me at 11, if they want to use Burn Spells and Swift Spear, I'm not that upset. Unless it's exactly... Uh, would would have been a disaster. Would have, would have been... Um, the Searing Blood. That would have been a disaster. So let's go Hand the Dart, bottom this, exile the Channeler, play land, attack for two, play Channeler. There's a decent chance we can just kill them next turn. I mean, we're at ten and they have two cards in hand. I guess we could be dead. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Uh-oh! I'm in danger. I'm in danger. All right, two cards in hand. Prismatic ending. They're at 18. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't want to go shields down on Flusterstorm. What if I just, like, attack Lava Dart them? Yeah. I just hold up the Flusterstorm and go for Breach next turn. I think I like that. Yeah, so let's Lava Dart them. I uh, can probably bin that. Alright, so they go to 12. Yeah, we can hold up Fluster Storm. Probably Fluster whatever this is. Yeah, Storm Count 3. I just, I want to counter that because I just want to make sure that I get to counter something with my Fluster Storm. Like, if, imagine a scenario where I don't counter that, and they just untap and, like, draw one mana spell. Then I'm, like, really screwed. Yeah, and with them at 12... I guess the Breach isn't necessarily lethal. We find a Bobble, it is, but... 
Searing Blaze. Let's speed a three. Just debating if I want a Lava Dart in response. I don't think I do. It does get me closer to a Bobble, but I think I'm not going to cast the, the Lava Dart. Okay. So that is Xaxes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's Xaxes. We did the math. I hope I did the math. Pretty sure I did the math correctly. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, five ball. Five ball, corner pocket. Let's go. Easy clap. Yeah, who's the burn deck now, motherfucker? Easiest clap of my life. I thought about buying this deck in paper because I don't need much for it. I have all the lands. I have all the. I have the lands, the baubles. The only thing is, I don't have our breach, metamorphos, and mutagenic growth. I have everything else. So I think I think I think I'm gonna buy this deck because it's just so cheap. But I always thought, I always thought that like prowess was just a better version of burn deck in the matchup because like the prowess deck has more creatures and more access to uh, to like have a steady stream of creatures. And if the burn deck is trying to trade a bunch of, like, a bunch of one-for-one -one with the creatures, it's just, like, that's just not a good... Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, like, not that many of a good game plan. I'm gonna keep Iconoclast on a 5. I feel like I kind of have to. Like, it's one of the cards that allows you to get back from a mold of 5. Sprite Dragon fit into this deck. I mean, look, there's a million different 2-drops, a, di a million different creatures that you could play in place of Iconoclast. Um, it's possible that people are only playing Iconoclast because it's, like, the new hot thing, or, you know, it's it's, it's the new shiny card. Um, you can play Sprite Dragon, you can play Ragavan, but I don't know. I'm trying out Iconoclast. I don't know if it's the best thing to be playing in that spot, but we're trying it out. Stormwing Entity. Ooh. Mold of five against Grief, huh? I wonder who's favored. Any, any ideas, chat? Any, I mean, anyone's game, to be honest. Anyone's game. Anyone's game. Truly. Truly anybody's game right now. Anybody's game. Yeah, living in a tough matchup. You do have four Falser Storm, but. Yeah, I think one of the challenge lists, the one that the one of the lists that won the challenge had um had Sprite Dragon, so. Spike said Iconoclast is quite a bit better than Sprite Dragon. I mean, you know, take his word for it. Surely they just won't have the living end, right? But that, I mean, surely they won't have the Cascade spell. Tank Tank Force. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hand, bottom, exile. We jam. Maybe there's a world where I'm supposed to dart my own Iconoclast in response to a Living End, but realistically, I'm not beating a Living End anyway, so. We're just gonna hope they don't have it. Have they ever not had it? I don't think I've ever seen them not have it. Borborg, thank you for the 19 months much appreciated hope you're having a good day today buddy welcome back welcome back people need to use this emote more it's a good emote you know it's a good emote they're more likely to miss land three if than not have it yeah, yeah that's fair so bring in these five i could bring in magus too try and magus them it's bad mutagenic growth you cut breach or no actually probably cut iconoclast right yeah, like there's no shot this is an iconic last matchup. Cut the cut the mutas, bring in the Magus. I think I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, you could justify keeping growth, because with growth breach just kinda kills them. Just maybe one shots them, but they bring in Leyline against you? Possibly, but like what am I gonna do about Leyline? I guess Iconoclast is maybe good if they have Leyline, but I mean Hmm. I don't love this hand. Uh, I don't... I feel like I can't keep this hand, right? Eh, fuck it. It does have lands and spells, that is true. 
That is extremely true. It does have lands and spells. <laughs> yeah, that's this hand just loses to a grief. Oh, wait, really? Oh, okay. Oh, I was thinking, I thought you meant Leyline of Sanctity, not Leyline of the Void. I didn't think they would bring this card in against me, but I, I guess it makes sense, right? Oh, I guess it makes sense. Shuts off Breach, shuts off Channeler. I kind of understand it. Because, like, the way that they lose is me just gets, getting turn three, right? <clears throat> and if they have this, they're less likely to get turn three by a, by a Breach. I kind of understand it. I wasn't expecting it, but I understand it. This matchup just has to be, like, close to 0%. I'm considering cast... Nah, okay, I can't do that. I was going to say I'm considering casting Iteration just to try and find the second Magus, but... I think I'm just going to end step fetch, untap, iteration, try to find a uh, Foster Storm. Alright, I will cast Expressive Iteration. Did not find the Foster Storm. Let's go... I don't really want a third iteration, right? Let's do it like this. Play the bobble. Ooh, I could have bobbled first. And then if my top card was a Foster Storm... Hmm. I could have bobbled first if my top card was Foster Storm. Then just play the Scalding Turn and pass. Like, bobble myself. Could have been a line. Yeah, I mean, opponent, you would tell me if you had a cascade spell, right? You would uh you you would tell me if you had a cascade spell, right? Eternally on. Sand sucks, right? It's got a lot of lands. I mean Rhinos is more reasonable than Living In, because you're actually like playing to the board and kind of interacting, but Living In is just like, you know, brain dead nonsense. I'm gonna try keeping this hand. Monogreen and Pioneer. I mean, go look at like the last RC. Go look at the, the South American RC. There was basically zero mono green decks. It did horrible. Like you have to you have to go to like top fifty to find the first placing mono green deck. Yeah, it's like hammer time too. I mean it's just so much shit. Look, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing with you that modern is more diverse because there's a bunch of different decks. It's just the gameplay is ten times worse because, like, with everything in Pioneer against everything but Modern Green, I think the gameplay is much more enjoyable than than this kind of shit. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. It's just it's dog shit. Like, there's just so many more decks in Modern that have really boring and unfun repetitive play experiences than 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 pioneer because it's literally just monogreen and pioneer i think this deck's pretty boring too did not mean to do that eternally yours so Monogreen has been doing for months. People will play Dexter to beat green for a bit. Green does poorly. People start moving away from hating green. Green does well against, again, rinse, repeat. Eh, I don't know. I, I feel like we've we've actually reached a point in Pioneer that green is, you know, before the RCs, green was like, you know, somewhere between 40 to 50 to 60% of, of metagames in some spots. I don't think we're ever going to get back to that point. Lotus Field and Pioneer? Sure, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Lotus Field's not great either. Right? Sure, sure, sure. All right, but without Mono Green and Lotus Fields, there's a lot more Mono Greens and Lotus Fields in Modern than there is in Pioneer. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, there are plenty of decks that have an insanely good matchup. I mean, look at the Green White Boggle stack. Like Mike went seven and zero against Green at that RC. He destroyed, and he was on the draw like I think almost every match, and he just destroyed every Green opponent he played, and it wasn't even close. Like Boggles, green Boggles versus green is literally a buy for Boggles. Like mono white too. Mono white's excellent against mono green. 
Phoenix is one of the most interactive decks in the format. I think Phoenix the Phoenix gameplay is amazing. I, I think the Phoenix gameplay is excellent. Oh, they're just gonna spell bomb this. Yeah, they're just gonna spell bomb this. I don't know why I did this, but. Oh, they just let it go. Guess I should attack first. If nothing to gain. Is the Boggles that good? Yes, it is. I think Mike said he, like, didn't even mind his matchup against Rakdos. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. Like, the maybe the Rakdos matchup's a little tough for Boggles, especially if they're going back to playing the Liana, but... Pioneer just needs Force Negation and Solitude. Leave that shit out of Pioneer. Don't go anywhere near my format. They already ruined one of my formats. Please don't, don't, don't ruin another one. The vehicle stack is super spicy against a lot of top. Yeah, the vehicle stack is nice too. I like the vehicle stack a lot. Could we have no? Pioneer needs lean and arbiter. What exactly would that solve? Another Emery. Hmm. I just want to pack it in. Off it. Hmm. It's like ending for Ragman. And it's not even that good. Because they Ragavan can just dash. It's not really that great against Emery. I guess Lantern's fine. Wallstar Storm doesn't even seem that great, because their impactful cards are like Emery and Breach. Uh I guess maybe Magus against Saga, but I'd rather just have Wear Tear. I think I'm just gonna cut the cut like two iconoclasts and a mutagenic growth. I think that's fine. I'm not gonna overboard. Also, not a big fan of Magus because they have Unholy Heat. Like they just have a bunch of red cards that kill Magus. I mean, I have Wear Tear for Saga. I think that's enough. And I want to keep my Mutagenics because if their removal spell is Unholy Heat and not Bolt, I can actually protect my Channeler against Heat with Mutagenic Growth without Delirium, which is really important. Goblin Engineer for the Anvil decks, yeah. Arbiters for the Diabolic Intent decks. Look, I was wrong, okay? I, I was wrong. I also haven't played a lot with Intent, and I maybe should play some more with it. But I was wrong. I'll admit, I'll admit, I was wrong. I'm not wrong very often, but I was wrong. You know what I'm not wrong about is Modern being shit. That's what I'm not wrong about. I'll tell you that much. I know I'm not wrong about that. I don't remember saying Fury was bad. When did I say that? I'm pretty sure I didn't say Fury was bad. Sounds like I need a clip. It sounds like I need a clip to prove it. I was super hyped about it. I thought it was going to be good. I mean, I, again, I, I've only played a couple leagues with it. So the verdict is kind of still out a little bit. Because I haven't gotten to play a ton with it, but... I would say the verdict is still out. I think I'm going to fire off an iteration to try and find a, a burn spell. Not exactly the burn spell I was looking for. Um, Let's take Bobble, I think. Let's play the Soulscar Mage. Cycle the bobble now. We have Ragavan on top. Okay. Well, Jit spent 20 minutes saying how Fury is bad yesterday. The jig is always up at 0 CMC. What more do you want? Trigger Benjamin. <laughs> mm, that was. See, the jig is always up says some nonsense, though. Also, how did you find that? <laughs> Oh, Jig PM do you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what happened. I was like, wait, how did you find that? <laughs> he PM'd you? That's unreasonable. That's unreal. <laughs> I can't believe he PM'd you. That's hilarious. That's awesome. You love to see that. Mm, all right, cast this card. So, I think I take land swift spear. Go play land. 
I think they go crack the bloodstained mire, get a basic, play swift spear, and just attack. I want to hold up dart for Ragavan. <laughs> I guess I could play the lantern, but then if I play the lantern, I have you know I don't have an I don't have a thing against Ragavan. Why are viewing corner of the board? I don't know what that means. I don't know if I understand what you're saying. Music vibes are different. Oh, I can kill the Iconoclast now. So they get no tokens. Let's actually do that. Before they have an opportunity to play a spell with the Iconoclast. And then I can just flash back the Dart in the Ragavan. Can I sign your Fury saying I'm bad? I mean, I could if you wanted me to. Yeah, the Breach Bows deck is good. It's a good deck. Okay, well, now they know about the darts, they're just not going to cast the Ragavan. Are you resumed in? Gotcha. Well, you should unzoom. Alright, we got a wear tear for that. Good. Maybe they're going to force me to use the dart. Oh, we do know they have Ragavan. Alright. Dead monkey. F6. Dead monkey. So, interesting. They have two cards in hand, so I can either go Iconoclast, Tear, not play the Lantern, or I can go Tear... Wait, are they dead to Metagenic Growth? Hold on a second, do I just have Lethal? <laughs> Wait a minute. I may or may not have Lethal here. How many times can I cast this Metagenic Growth? I have eight cards in my graveyard. And I can actually make it nine with the wear tear, right? So I can go breach wear tear three. I think I'm I think I'm three damage short, right? I think I can deal them twelve. Yeah, I think I can deal them twelve. Cause I go breach tear, which is a three four. No, I it is lethal, right? Breach tear, which is a three four. Mutagenic from hand, six power, and then I have nine cards in the graveyard to cast a mutagenic three times which is nine more damage. It's 15 exactly. I think it's 15 exactly. That's insane. It's actually insane. Holy crap. That's absurd. <laughs> that shit's crazy. <laughs> and I end the game at two life. Unreal, dude. <laughs> this is silly. This is so silly, dude. That was that was Pog. That was Pog. <laughs> yeah, is this Breach card good? Can somebody tell me if the card Underworld Breach is a reasonable magic card? Jesus Christ. That was insane. Sheesh. Yeah, you just like... You just gotta do the quick math check. All right, are they dead? Nah. All right, you know. Song title is lethal. That is true. The song t the song is literally called lethal. It's a good time for that. I didn't even notice that DBJ. It's a good song. Should cue that up every every time we do one of these. Uh, this hand's kind of mid. It does have Bobble Fetch Land and Dark for Ragavan, and then this for Saga. I think this hand's a keep, but it's close. It's hard keeping a hand without a threat, but... Hmm. Okay. That's not a bad one. That is a threat, indeed. Uh, could save the bobble now. Yeah, let's just not play the bobble. Wait to turn on the, the booble. With two DRC in play, you surveil your whole grave. Well, you need three, right? To go actual infinite. With three, you can go infinite, but... Uh, if I tear now, they could fluster me. I think I kind of have to, though. I don't want them playing Emery this turn. Because my hand doesn't really have a good answer to Emery. I think I like this exchange. Okay. Well, now we have a 1-1 one -one to block that. I could even consider waiting a turn on the third path Iconoclast, but I'm not going to. They have an EI on top. Okay. Like, if th there's no way I get to untap with this thing, but it, hypothetically, if I did, it would be really, really good. <laughs> yeah, I love the E on one. I mean, you know, they wanted to use their mana pro pro preemptively, so it made sense. 
Wow. I guess they can find Mox Removal Spell. Yeah, they can find Mox Removal Spell. Maybe they have the Mox. Exile the Mesa. That's good news for us. This turn about to be pretty good. Alright, let's lead on Manamorphos. Let's make Red Red, I think. Yeah, make Red Red. Okay, love it, Art This Homie. Uh, do we just yield? Do we just like shove? We can at least do that. There's not really a ton of reason to flash them back yet. I can always wait till end of turn. Yeah. Because doing it now is, you know, bad if they have a second explosives. But if they don't play EE, -E, I can just end of turn the Lava Darts. Which puts them to eight. And I have exactly eight. Yeah. Yeah, but there's just, like, no reason to do it now, you know? It's just worse if they have explosives. I'll do it if they don't play explosives. Yeah. Rygavan does not line up very well against Third Path Iconoclast. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, that's not a good lineup. Not the best lineup. Oh yeah, for people who are asking why aren't we playing Ragavan, what if your opponent has Third Path Iconoclast? Did you ever think of that? Maybe that's a reason. They're passing. I mean, I'm going for it. You better believe I'm sacking my lands. You better believe I'm sacking my lands. I guess it's kind of awkward that I had to sack my white source, and I don't have a second Sacred Foundry in my deck, but... Asian sounds like fun. Alright, we're on the draw. Sand looks very based and very pog, so I will keep. Only Grixies. Only Grixis decks. Sounds like my kind of format. Mutagenic Growth not great against Plains Aether Vial, but, you know... Solid dude. We just fucking yellow this growth. Probably not. There's nothing that I can make it through. When the dart is made of lava. <laughs> yeah, where's Plea Chow at? Plains Aether Vial. Plea Chow. Mod check? Mod check Plea Chow. Where you at, buddy? Not bad. Not bad. We take those. He sucks at Quiplash. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. I kind of want to fire off a dart here. I don't really think there's much that I can get punished from doing this. Like, if they... I'm, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm not going to cast the growth into the solitude. If they're cool with taking four, then... Take four. They're not cool with taking four. Giver of Runes... Oh, they can have Ephemerate. Hmm, I forgot that Ephemerate's a card. Okay, this might have been a spew. I just sometimes forget that Ephemerate's a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern Horizons 2 cards. Fun. Chad, are we having fun? It's a Modern Horizons card. It's all the same shit. <laughs> They're literally all the same shit. Yeah, I feel like you would fuck with this band, Ashiok. Bolt is a double Masters card. It's not a Horizons card. It doesn't count. It's not cards that were injected into the format for no good fucking reason. Supplemental sets are bad. Supplemental sets are, like, in constructed formats are just, it's, it's just, like, the worst idea possible. I could sideboard. I probably should cut these growths. Fire and Ice, though. Those aren't Horizons cards. Those are reprints. They don't count. When I'm, the whole point of, the whole point of my disdain for the Horizon sets is there supplemental sets that are introducing cards into a set that is not into a format that's not necessarily meant to have supplemental cards introduced into it? Like, it's just like, I don't know, man. Just supplemental sets are so bad. They're just terrible for constructed. They shouldn't exist. They just, they, 
I really, really hope to God they don't ruin Pioneer like they ruin Modern. I will, I will literally stop playing Magic if they do that for Pioneer. I'm, I'm out. I'll go fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I, I will stop playing Magic. Like I've been, you know, I've been playing this game for 16 years, and I've seen them do a lot of dumb shit. And it's like, ugh, I just, you know, I'm out. I'm out. I'm literally out if they, if they make Pioneer Horizons, I'm out. Just kick by. I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah, clip it. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking out of here, man. I'll be out of here faster than you can imagine. I'll start I'll I'll start playing some like, I don't know, Hearthstone or some shit. It's like such a disaster. I remember when non-rotating formats didn't rotate and now they rotate every 2 years when they introduce a Pioneer or Horizon set. I should have kept both fetch lands so I can cast this ending, but I'll just give them a card. Who cares? I have a million one ones. Even if the gameplay becomes objectively better with a Pioneer Horizons, I don't even think it needs to be fixed. Like you can't, nothing. It's hard to fix something that doesn't need to be fixed. I mean, the gameplay got objectively worse with Modern Horizons. Like that's just a fact. People just coping with it. If they're saying they're, it's not. Like, it's a lot worse. <laughs> Legacy rotates whenever Commander products are printed. Yeah, that's also true. Which one is worse, MH1 or MH2? MH2 for sure. Because the thing about MH1 is they were, like, okay with just banning cards. And for some reason, they haven't been okay with banning cards from this set, even though there's plenty of cards that probably could be banned. So they were, you know, they were much more, like, okay with banning cards the first time around, but for some reason this time, they just haven't done that yet. Like, this this is a... Maybe... This is a design mistake, but this one is also more of a design mistake. But these, card, these cards are just so not fun to play against. It's just miserable. Like, I'm just not having a good time. It doesn't matter what... 100%. EDH is, EDH is the way they get the most money. 1,000%. They F6 their first turn. Sick. MH2 discussion vid on YouTube of Brad Nelson and Sam Black talking about MH2 testing is so yikes. I don't know if I've seen that video yet. I probably should go look it up. Oh, Commander. Yeah, you love Commander, Brad. Can we post Eccles in chat? Yeah, of course you can. You had AI build a mono blue tempo list. What format? <laughs> AI built this mono blue tempo list. Like, did you actually have an AI build this? If so, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's dope. I like the curiosities. <laughs> I love the curiosities. Yeah, that is gas. Grinding station, huh? Sick. I don't see the sound like a fan train to me. <laughs> the AI is going to top 8 regionals AI is going to top 8 the pro tour at this rate okay land on top <sighs> I think I just like bolt them bolt them with the intention of trying to set up breach next turn because I can breach double bolt next turn right yeah I'm just going to do this just bolt you twice fetch to get another card in the graveyard put you to 6 yeah, and now this just sets up Breach Double Bolt, right? Oh, I meant to fetch first, but it's fine. Yeah, I meant to fetch so I didn't draw the land, but... Yeah, it doesn't trust sideboards. Hope they don't have, like, a Lantern or something. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. If they have Lantern, this, this place sucks, but... That doesn't matter. Still dead to Breach. Got a Counterspell. Spell. 
I cast the Underworld Breach card. Are you dead? Somebody told me this card's good, so I put it in my deck. A wise man once told me that Breach was good. I think this is what we did last time, right? Just the two wear tear, one lantern, cut a growth, cut two third path, or cut two third path iconic last. I could cut more. Because maybe I need to be faster, but like again, Flusterstorm just doesn't hit that much stuff. It doesn't hit their most impactful cards like Ragavan, Emery Breach. So might as well be a modern horizon. It's an honorary, you know, the people love to use the term honorary modern horizons card. That's exactly what it is. It is an honorary modern horizons card. Just like Uro, just like Oko, just like Expressive Iteration. It's all honorary horizons cards. Can we go back to modern 2019? I wish we could. I really, really wish we could. That's what I, you know, that's that's why we had the pure modern tournament, and I thought it, I thought it went really well. I thought that tournament was a blast. I had a lot of fun. I think everybody who played in it had a lot of fun. I think it was good commentating. I thought it was a really good time. Maybe a couple things that we can improve on, but I think overall it went pretty well. So, now that I've drawn a land, I think I'm not going to play the Bobble this turn. And I'm just going to play Channeler Pass. Then I can go Iconoclast Bobble next turn. Uh, well, funny enough, Dredge won Pure Modern, but there was a lot of sweet decks in top 8. I think the top 8 was like 2 Grixis Shadow, uh, 2 Grixis Shadow, 2 Dredge, Amulet, Abzan Company, Mono White Emiria. And then Dingo top eight with with Rakdos mid range. That was the top eight. That was a, that was it was it was a lot of fun. That Abzan cut that Abzan uh, company deck was super sick. It was like Kitchen Finks and all this kind of stuff. Uh, Ursa Saga. Huh? I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna play Third Path Iconic Last. I'm gonna get the Sacred Foundry in case I draw the Wear Tear. I can kind of just go ham next turn though. Maybe I was supposed to lead on Swift Spear to get more damage. Unclear. If I could have played, it would have been GDS or Dredge. Yeah, those those were definitely the two best decks for sure. Not surprising, you know. GDS looked insane. Like, it didn't even really lose that much. They have a Breach on top. That's not great for me. Okay, Manamorphos is good for next turn. You would have played this. Well, you can't play this because of Lava Dart. Right? You can't you couldn't play this because of Lava Dart. Unless your unless your name is Cory and you just put Lava Dart in your deck anyways, because Cory just didn't read the rules. Okay, so if I go Swift Spear, Mutagenic, Bolt Dart. Is that better? I think I fucked this game up. I think I was supposed to play Swift Spear on turn one. I don't know if it would have changed that much. I guess I could also Metamorphose and just try to draw a land. Right, Metamorphose, red, red, rip land, play Swift Spear, play Dart, play Bolt, flashback two darts. I'm gonna I'm gonna high roll. Because I also have the, the channeler to try and find a land. I'm just gonna do a little high rolling. Like land is so good here. Okay, we can bin that, I think. Ooh, maybe I'm supposed to keep that actually. I didn't do the math. I should have probably kept that. Okay, Swiss Spear. Bobble. Yeah, I should have kept that second mutagenic growth. Right? I mean, I think this is maybe still enough. It's close. Uh, I mean, I don't need that this turn, so... What you drawn? So now we can go... Lava Dart U... Graveyard that. Uh, go to combat. Three, four, five, six, seven. I just didn't make a token. Okay, so let's go Mutagenic the 1-1, one, one, I think. Because we need to hit Delirium. Is that Delirium? I don't even know. All right, Delirium achieved. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my god, am I one point short? I think I'm one point short. 
Well, <laughs> I think I am one point short. Hmm. If only I kept that, uh, that mutagenic growth, huh? <laughs> if only I kept that mutagenic growth and actually did math. <laughs> All right, go to one. Your turn. <laughs> Oops. And a whoop. And a whoop. Did Corey get a game loss? Uh, no, I just told him to cut it for a mountain after his first match. He only had one Lava Dart in his deck. He didn't even play four, which was the weirdest part. You know, he just wanted to put one Lava Dart into his deck for no reason. It was very strange. I just told him to take it out for a mountain. Would you delay for the Bolt, even if they Wrath or whatever anyways? Well, they're going to kill us this turn. That's, that's the issue. They have Breach in their hand. We're not getting a turn. Well, looks like maybe we are. I just assumed I was dead with the Breach, but... I guess they just don't always have it? I wasn't aware of this. I was under the assumption that they always had it, but... I guess I'm wrong. Eh, you know. God, the fact that I 3 2 is kind of unfortunate, because now this is going to go to YouTube, and the YouTube comments are going to just hear me complaining about Modern the entire time, and everybody's going to be like, Oh, all you do is complain about Modern Doom. So, you know, there's that. So there's upside and downside. You could just not post it. I could. I kind of like stirring up controversy. Because there are some, like, people people really love Modern. And I, I just, I don't know why. I really don't know why. Yeah, um, um, actually, all you do is complain about Modern. Um, actually. I'll wait until you post it to comment exactly that. What's up, JSA? Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, number one Modern shit poster. 3 2 Modern Leagues. This commander has made Legacy a complete shit show. I'm like the, the the meme where it's you know like uh like the what's the mini me right or no the Austin Powers meme where he's like, come over here we got Pioneer it's it's fine we have Pioneer, you know what I mean. Anyways, we three two deck's fine. I don't know. I got nothing for you. Modern's whatever. I have no comments. Pioneer is boring as fuck. Ooh, it's a commander card. Is it worth something? Probably not. Wait, I have another chest? 